Ninja Turtles 2014 is a is a Michael Bay film. The stars Megan Fox. Uh, and essentially the plot of this movie is about Megan Fox um, discovering um, these teenage mutant Ninja Turtles that love to skateboard. Um, they love pizza and they live in a sewer and they're trained by a freaking rat. Uh, then there's an evil shredder and this clan thingy in this clan and the, the turtles must stop them it, yeah yeah that that that's the movie yeah now if you're a fan of the teenage mutant ninja turtles like i am then you probably know that then you probably have some merchandise or any other things teenage mutant ninja turtles i had a freaking cup of teenage mutant ninja turtles like it was like all oh, one of their old 1990s cups and i've actually seen um all four of the original movies. There was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Secret of the Ooze, Turtles in Time, and TMNT, which came out in... T <clears throat> Excuse me. Which came out the same year Rambo came out, 2008. But once 2014 came along, and then we had Michael Bay ruin our childhoods with this movie. <laughs> Ugh. Now, I know this Michael Bay did not direct the movie, but it, it freaking felt like a Michael Bay movie. It was... Oh. Like, if you like Transformers or any other Michael Bay movie, you probably like this movie. But, when, like, this movie was just awful. Every single Michael Bay movie has to star Megan Fox. Why couldn't you just get somebody else better than Megan Fox? For this movie, I would have picked somebody else other than her, cause somebody, hang on, put the camera there, but somebody could have done a way better performance than she could ever do. But, but the film has some pros and some cons. One pro is that some of the jokes are funny. The second pro being that the avalanche scene was was pretty good. <sighs> but there's many cons with the film. Con number one, it felt too much like a Michael Bay movie, even though it it was directed by somebody else named Jonathan. Two, Megan Fox's performance. Number three pro I mean con number con number three, Will Arnett. I thought his character was just boring. Like, this film has to have exposition. And just a bunch of crap. I'm like, oh my. And I'm sitting in the theater going, um, oh, okay. Um, just, just want to get to the good stuff. But I was ex actually excited for this movie. I'm a huge fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as you can plainly freaking see. But Michael Bay, why'd you have to ruin my childhood? Why? Why, man? I'd rather watch the freaking Nickelodeon um, cartoon. I'd rather watch all four of the original movies, including Turtles in Time. That movie was not that good. But there was like, just CGI, bad acting. Uh, it, like, this film was luckily not Oscar worthy. Because, well, it's... It, it, it's it's about like these turtles um, that they were, that they were, that were trained by a rat and, and they love they love pizza which I, I love pizza too but this movie is dog crap I mean really <laughs> this movie is so much dog crap I didn't even want to do this review but hey I had to pop out another review because I love you guys but oh my god what I do this movie but. If you want a good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, go check out the original 1990, yes, 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Check that out. Don't waste your time with this movie. I'm going to give this movie a D minus. I don't think you should waste your time with this movie. And hey, guys, I'm, I'm sorry that Michael Bay had to ruin you. Um, maybe in the middle of it, we're all. We're all gonna go out to Walmart and buy ourselves a pizza and freaky Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew with that MLG. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, 
like, comment, subscribe. Um, can we please get the 50 subscribers? Um, I'm, I'm not forcing you guys, but um, this has been not of a tip, and I'm here. I mean, here is the lesson of the day, kids. The lesson of the day is to never stick a knife in a toaster.